Hello, everyone. Continuing on with the sex here, I think that was kind of going to be my theme for this here morning. It is 128 in the AM here. And yeah, so continuing on with the sex here, I don't know why I did that. Um, Rainbow Blacks, cha cha. Um, let's just take a moment and reminisce about the other Rainbow subunit Rainbow Pixie. I don't think anyone remembers the Rainbow Pixie. And if you do, if you remember Rainbow Pixie, I applaud you because I love Rainbow. Not because I'm you know, but because I love Rainbow. Anyway, Rainbow, Rainbow Blacks. Here we go. Four members. I wish it was all of them, but I'll explain that after. A bit loud. So I can hear it and you can't hear it so much, but hear my voice. Oh. Cha 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 cha. I only saw the body scanning pieces. I've never tried a macaron. I heard they're really hard to make though. I tried to make one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woody, Suna, Jaekyung. No. Oh my god. Is that Madam Go? Oh, girl. 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 Who made those pastries? Just like nonchalant moves that like, homegirl must have been hungry. I really like Shenyang's makeup. That like subtle pink around her eye. Just to give her that like innocent look. Although they're going like super sexy. And why does that girl on the other side have fucking red hair? She's like stealing the fire. Whoa, whoa, that cleavage, the worry. Um, we're not gonna get that. <laughs> I like the outfit so. Adam, go! Oh girl, oh girl. Mm. I said that wasn't actual ice cream because I like ice cream. Mm. Okay, I think I got it now. Fucking girl with red hair needs to get out. Like that's all you see and you think she's another rainbow member or something. Oh oh oh. That pastry with strawberries looked really good. Oh my god. This is my like don't don't do that, but keep doing it. Everyone was kind of blowing up about this, you know, because 
Rainbow Blacks. Being all sexy and stuff, you know, Rainbow being all sexy, but come on, you guys. Rainbow was a sexy group. No, I mean, they weren't, like, so sexy. You know, during their Tell Me in 80s, that was like, yeah, the Rainbow. Hey, 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 take off your shirt kind of thing. You know, then that stopped, and then they went back to cute with Sunshine. It's really pissed me off. Like, I wish they would just keep doing what they were doing, like, with A and Tell Me and everything. It just fucking annoyed me. That, I mean, Sunshine is a good song. Rainbow Syndrome Part 2 was a good album. But it just annoyed me how they went back to cute. I was just like, the hell are you going to do? So, um, crossing my fingers, crossing my fingers. Camellia may hate me for this, but you know, Kara is kind of, they are, you know, with the loss of Nicole, member Nicole and Ji Young, you know, DSP released a statement saying that they were, you know, the members are just going to focus on solo activities for a few months. I believe it was five months, and then, you know, they're going to continue on as the group. So, in that meantime, I wish, I wish... And I don't really pray, but I wish DSP would promote, like, Rainbow and Ajax better. Because Ajax sees another comeback. Snake wasn't, you know, Snake wasn't as good as Insane. And, you know, Rainbow Blacks. Like, if this was a full Rainbow comeback, you know, granted that maybe Yunhye would have looked a bit awkward. Because, you know, she has such huge eyes. And, you know, like, you wouldn't want to see, like, someone trying to be sexy, like, I'm about to eat this macaron. Why can't I eat this here? This is you. Kind of lucky I have to use this Anyway, but you know, my point is, you know, I don't think this was made, you know, just for sexy purposes. I think that this is rather genius. This is super genius. To the name Rainbow Blacks. You know, they're a, they're a group called Rainbow. They're all different colors. Sexy group, blacks, innocent group could be like Rainbow White. I mean, yeah, granted it is kind of simple and easy, but it's pretty ingenious. You know, they didn't you, you don't want to come up with like a subunit name like <laughs> Tiara N4. What's the N4? Like t Tiara Negafol? Excuse my use of the N word, but that's the only thing I can think of. So, you know, Rainbow Blacks, you know, and I know everyone again is saying it's sexy. Yeah, the choreography is sexy and everything, but you have to watch the MV to understand it. Granted, I really could, you know, follow along with the lyrics or anything, but, you know, the MV starts out, they're all, you know, first of all, they're all in black. We all know black is a flattering color for anyone. Black is flattering, it makes you look slim, it gives you a better, it doesn't give you a better figure, but you know, it makes you look slim, you know, it gives that illusion. And you know, um, this is kind of, uh, this is, for me, this is a representation of K-pop. You know, if you kind of realize, there are basically like only three sets in, in, to, to generalize it, two sets. There is the house where they're in with all the food, which is either the company or the outside world. Basically, it would actually basically it would be the company. And then you have the it would be the company, the outside world. I'm sorry, it'd be the company and the outside world. And then the with the music video shooting is basically where they do their work. And you know, there you have these four girls really pretty, gorgeous, and everything. And they're surrounded by pastries. They're surrounded by sweets. They're surrounded by things. You know, everyone knows that sweets kind of trigger your brain, and you, know, you want some more, you want to keep eating, and this is the case. You know, you have that... You have that s stimuli, stimula, you know, you have that stimulation, like you want to eat it, you want to, but you're in the company. You have to keep you have to keep thin, you have to keep your image, you have to, you're dieting. And this, I mean, is kind of a subliminal exposure 
of the K-pop industry because everyone knows, you know, in K-pop, you know, you see all the glamour and everything, but, you know, you go behind the scenes, they train their asses off, they don't eat, you know, watch some of my music's documentaries and everything, you'll see and you'll know, and this is it, you know, here you have, um, Madam Go, homegirl from Master Sun, you know, she's over there measuring them and she rep represents either the president or the old ladies within the Korean community who are constantly judging these girls as, you know, like a, you know, you need to stay thin, you need to stay thin. And you notice when they eat the macaroon, the macaron, you know, it didn't seem like they actually ate it. It was just like a bite. So that's kind of like, okay, I got a taste of this, I got a taste of this, and they're not eating actual food. And then you see that they produce, or diamonds come out, like I demonstrated, like, you know, diamonds come out. And that, in a sense, is kind of like their money maker. You know, I'll put you on a diet, you go make me some money. And, in a sense, this kind of gives you an, a behind the scenes view of what the K-pop industry is like, you know. I mean, I've seen all of this before, and like, I, I still want to pursue some kind of career, you know. Granted, I don't know how to sing that well. I wish I did. I think I can sing drinks and I'll be saying but um yeah basically this is it it was behind the scenes and you know it's kind of like these girls are under pressure you know seeing all these pastries and everything they're going crazy and you know the dance was a lot of that too like the dance kind of looked like exercise moves as well you know it was like they were like burning fat and they're gonna go eat and you know I mean People need to just like, oh my god, homegirl is spreading her legs so wide, the song is about sex. You know, there's a deeper meaning behind it and I hope you all like friggin' understand. And if you don't understand, subscribe to me goddammit and I will tell you. <laughs> subscribe to me and I will tell you. Cause I don't just look at things one way, you know. I take the time to figure out, and I'm not just like, okay, this video was just yet, yeah, so what's going on here? Anyway, so if you enjoyed my reaction to Rainbow Blacks' cha-cha, please like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, you know, I take requests there, or you can like my Facebook fan page, you can do that there as well. And you know, i like you to also comment down below, and I want to hear your thoughts on you know, if you think what I thought was wrong, or, you know, we can, we can communicate and find some level ground. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys later.